utilizing our new spin to win on top of that sitting there and getting status trigger every time we dodge an attack just being able to get great procs plus on top of that abuse enrage roars showing that our status buildup is really king being able to get our sharpness back and Roos really killing it with the status welcome to our dual blades video hey guys this is just a quick uh, tldr with the recent updates you are going to be able to also sit there and do something similar with two pieces of gold rathian armor with three pieces of risen camellios uh do keep in mind this is going to put a lot more stress on your talisman and you're going to have a lot more issues with sitting there and having dual statuses but you are going to get certain things like status uh like build up boost and camellios blessing etc etc so with that back to the video hey guys uh, uh Zemnis here we're back with a new uh, new comfy build this one definitely as good old dual blades usually is is just a very fun time you know sitting there and not only giving yourself a ton of damage through poison uh, poison but also getting like the blast proc here and there is just very fun on top of that you also have the new spiral slash which just puts out a ton of damage it's a great replacement for the knife that we sat there and had in rise and it's just a welcome inclusion because it just it makes like dual blades just play and feel so much better on top of that us sitting there and going through and being able to just get our sharpness back on the fly is just it's just such a good time with all that you also sit there and have the ability to not only sit there and pick your battles on the ground you can also sit there and start picking them on the air things like Anjanath and certain other taller monsters you're gonna have a big problem with so sitting there and being able to just overall choose where you're going and how you get there is just gonna be a sweet time um the only thing that i am gonna preference is is do keep in mind our statuses get even heavier than what i'm showing here but that's because we just gotta dodge around and with dual blades being so heavy in movement you just have no problems with dodging whatsoever because you're always sitting there and just quickly dodging getting out of the way you know throwing feral mode getting back into arch demon and then sitting there and just going to town you have fast evades with dual blades so we might as well just take you uh, take and make use of it pretty much with that uh, with that though let's sit there and get into the build and see what skills we got for attack we have 362 we have 35 blast and 35 uh five poison 749 defense overall just super solid stuff our scrolls our scrolls our scrolls this is the first weapon i actually sit there and scroll swap actually quite a bit um the difference between my two scrolls is my switch one oh switch one and five pretty much uh you can sit there and play like certain other stuff like dual blades is pretty much to the point where you know pick your poison and just have fun and go ham i prefer i, I prefer on red scroll to sit there and have demon fury uh, fury rush and iron shine silk which will be our sharpness regener uh, regenerator on our blue scroll i'm having demon flight which is the ability so that way we can sit there and just get up in the air sit there and have a just overall good time with our tall boy matchups like example again and Janath. and we're also sitting there and having shrouded vault, uh, vault on our switch skill uh, on our switch skill five just for that overall just extra bit of comfy uh just case you need a like oh crap button going uh, going into the skills this build was a pain to kind of figure out and put together i'm not gonna lie but it utilizes a lot of just like new tech so we have attack boost for our standard usual evade window four this is just overall going to give us a great time with dodging and stuff it's going to be just our gen a general like extra iframes which you're just going to find very comfortable with sitting there and needing to dodge so much so that way we can center uh, sit there and interact with our 
skills to trigger our statuses so that way we can keep going. On top of that, we have weakness exploit three, poison attack three, blast attack three, poison and bla uh, blast attack are just there so that way we can keep building and keep getting just insane, crazy damage, uh, damage out with our dual blades. Speed sharpening for the times where you will eventually need to sharpen, it's not a lot, but because of the dual blades that we're using, you will need it at some point in time. Wire bug whisperer three. This is just so that way we can keep our wire bug skills just rocking and rolling, using them when they're uh, when they're up, so they're always on cooldown. Is just a very nice touch. You shouldn't really need to like actually wire fall at all with this, as long as you're sitting there and making sure that you're dodging the right stu uh, stuff, etc., etc. For a foray, this is our first of new skills. Being able to sit, th uh, sit there and have our attack power go up and our affinity go up wi uh, with just sitting there and having poison thrown out is just a solid time. You know, it's just going to give us more da uh, damage. On top of that, we're uh, sitting there and getting into our third one, which is cha uh, chain crit. Again, just increase damage. You just keep tacking. Just don't stop. Status trigger is definitely going to sit there and be our big point of this is why we need to evade so much. Like being able to evade, to be able to sit there and get even more duration, uh, duration and stuff for our overall poisons and blast procs is just going to lead to you just having more pro, uh, more procs, more damage. You know, it's just such a good time. On top of that, status trigger also plays with a lot of different uh, like statuses so if you want to sit there and play with poison or uh, i mean not poison but sleep or para you can sit there and do that and status trigger is just going to help you a ton it's just overall from like update one just the big juice along with def uh, defiance part break uh, breaker level two is going to be our overall bread and butter to try to help get just parts off in general um since we are dual blades you're not going to rip like parts off immediately and super hard or uh, hard flinch free level two is just a part of the armor and a overall good time so that way we don't have to sit there and actually socket it in resentment and bl uh, blight resistance are just literally here from the armor there's nothing we can really do about that i really wouldn't want them there but eh. and def uh, defiance i would like to have more levels of defiance because defiance is just overall super good but this is an unaugmented armor. The blades are antique machina. This is going to be where you're gonna get all the good stuff from. On top of that, we are running Dora Soul in, he uh, in here. And for this footage, it is augmented with sharp uh, sharpness, just so that way we can keep rocking and rolling. Um, I will sit there and say, just throw sharpness in here and status, like extra status for your blast and poison and just call it a day you know it's just going to equal to a great a great time with these dual, uh, dual blades for sitting there and augmenting them like that in terms of our armor we are ro uh, rocking two pieces of gold rathian these are mandatory for status trigger you have no choice on the matter what uh, what are they sitting there uh what are we sitting there and pair uh, pairing this with well, with two level twos, we're sitting there and throwing weakness exploit and attack boost in our helm. In our chest, we are wa rocking Archfiend, which this is a bit of a pain to get, but very well needed. With a level three and a level two, we are sitting there and throwing blast attack and attack boost in here to overall just give us our full skills. Malzino bra uh, braces. This is just a stand in, uh, like a standard, like staple just build these bracers a ton y'all have a good time with the level four we are sitting there and putting speed sharpening level three like the full thing in there so it's just all coming from uh, from our bra uh, bracers to be honest if this ha like if this whole entire set just had like more slots you would definitely have max defiance with this so if you are looking for augments do you keep that in mind with a level three and a level two in our waist, we are sitting there and rocking uh, another level of blast attack with weakness expo uh, exploit for that. Going on into our bo uh, boots, being Espionatus's heel, we're sitting there with a, lo a level four 
and a level one we are throw, uh, throwing in evade window and defy a uh, defiance in here to sit there and just capitalize on that eva evade window so that way we can just keep dodging around and never really get caught in terms of talisman we are ro rocking a Heartbreaker level two, Wirebug Whisper level two, with two level two deco slots. The only thing that's really mandatory for this build is really just Wirebug Whisper level two and two level twos. This is like kind of the bare uh, bare minimum. Keep in mind if you have like say attack boost with Wirebug Whisper or Wex with Wirebug Whisper, you can sit there and just go to town like. The, there is so much you can do I have this mainly here for the talisman slot because I was originally wanting like a blast attack talisman or a Poison a po like a decent poison one with a really good skill. I just haven't gotten anything. So th This is what we're rocking. But again bare minimum is wirebug whisper 2 with two level twos with that This build has just been like a ton of fun to go through play just constantly just rip apart monsters and just feel like an invisible god because they can't really touch you too too well you know you're just sitting there just dodging around getting in all your attacks sitting there just going ham you literally look like just a, wa a walking calculator because of just how much damage you are putting out but with the, uh, that guys that comes to the end of it definitely like subscribe and definitely big a big shout out to all, all of you guys that have subscri uh, subscribed you know i do want to keep sitting there and introducing more people to our comfy builds and our great uh, and our good times so with that hopefully you guys have a good one and just remember to stay comfy